Maximum flavour from a Chuby Crisp was inside and out, increased surface area. Lovely. Hello, ahoy and welcome to yet another episode of Captain Crisps. I'm the man in charge, Captain Crisps, and I want to welcome you on this, this journey, this voyage, this exploration to discover what is the best flavour of crisps. Now, I will be testing the crisps on six different categories. That is design, aroma, crunch, flavour, residue, and the all-important mouth test, see how many I can fit in my mouth at one time. Today we will be dropping anchor into the port of bacon flavoured crisps, with one type that definitely holds a fond place in my heart, and that is the crispy bacon wheat crunchies. Now, one thing I do have to say about these crisps, they are another nostalgic one of mine. So I know last week we had the Space Raiders. I'll be honest, I'm disappointed. So uh, let's get let's get down to it. The design of the crisps. Um, one thing I will say is the the text isn't very in focus. It's quite it's it looks a bit jarring. It's almost as if it's been done in a rush. Got lots of things about no MSG and all that kind of stuff. Um, cooked in sunflower oil, so they are fried, not baked. Not very healthy, but. Who cares? Um, one thing that did make me laugh as I picked up these packs, it says not actual size of the uh, of the crisps because obviously it's got the pictures on them. So I think it's it's lowering any expectations of them being quite a big crunchy crisp. One thing as well is uh, a lot of air in the bag, so it comes comes down to about about there, and then all of this crisps and. They, I know they've got they tubes, so they're going to be weighted space in there as well. But let's uh, open up this pack and uh, see what the crisps hold for us. Now, uh, looking at them, to be fair, it says not actual size. If anything, they're a bit bigger. I quite like that. That's uh, it's it's raised my expectations again. Um, yeah, and they're not nice and chewy. I like that. Maximum flavour from a chewy crisp. Because inside and out, increased surface area. Lovely. So yeah, they, they, uh, all the crisps look around about the same size. There's no crushed ones by the looks of things. So uh, yeah, all in all, a, a good design. Right, so let's move on to the aroma, the smell of the crisps. Now one thing I can say, like last week as well, I've opened up the pack and whoa, they've hit me in the face. They are definitely a strong smelling crisp. Um, so yeah, let's do a little, uh, little judge, get some air going in there and then the all important. Oh, such a, it's a very smoky, quite um, uh, paprikery, uh, like oniony, garlicky smell. Love that. Uh, just fantastic, really. The smells give a a nice little. Uh... Oh, that is good. That's a good smell. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. All right now, let's move on to the all important crunch test. Now, since they're called wheat crunchies, I have high hopes. These are going to beat everything. I'm hoping for at least eighty. And uh, if it's less than that, then I'm going to be very, very disappointed. So, here we go. We crunchies, you disappoint me. Only uh, so we have an average of fifty-eight point two, and then a max of seventy. Point five. Now that is that is not very good at all. It's not our lowest, but it's I think it's the second lowest on the board. So uh, 
let's just have a little look at our leaderboard. Let's just see where it is. Yep, second lowest. That is awful. I am very disappointed in the crunch of these wheat crunchies. Right, now let's get away from that. And let's move on to the flavor of the crisps. Now, uh, after the crunch, there was I've still got a lot of the uh, the the um, bits in my mouth. It's quite a nice mouth. It's quite a bitty feel, but uh, the flavor holds up. It's there. You can um, you get. I don't know what these are made of. Not wheat, obviously. You can taste that little bit of wheat. You can take, but then you get a, a good depth of flavor as well with these crisps. That you wouldn't expect for many others. So, flavor, pretty good. Now, residue. Give us a little wipe off. Oh, I have been having to wipe my hands quite a lot. And uh, you do get quite a lot of the flavor off onto your little fingers. Like, you do get... A lot, not not so much that it's everywhere, but enough, enough that it's likable. So let's give it a wee, uh, wee suck off. Subtle, that's that's all I can say. Very subtle flavour on the uh, on the uh, wheat crunchies for the residue. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. There's, you did get the flavour, but just not much, not much at all. Now. The all important question, how many can I fit in my mouth? Let's see. I'm, I've got high hopes for these again. Well, they're certainly crunchy when it comes to lots of them. I think that was around 11. So, pretty good actually. I think the uh, the tube shape definitely helps in that regard. So, what would I pair this crisp with drink-wise? Now, since it is a bacon crisp, I thought I'd go with something um, quite breakfasty, and uh, something that really helps you start your day with a bang, and to really get you uh, going and really motivated. So. I've gone with no other than a classic tenants. Right, so uh, let's uh, crack this baby open. And uh, let's have a little go. It holds up. It's good. The uh, the it definitely makes the bacon flavour more subtle, but it really does help. And uh, I like that. I like that. Definitely pair the wheat crunchies with uh, a nice tenants. So, what would I give these crisps as an overall rating? Now, uh. The only real downside I would say of these crisps was the, the blurry font and design of the pack and the fact that the wheat crunchies aren't that crunchy um, when it comes to like actual crunch sound. Like, So I'm struggling with this because they r don't live up to expectations, but they are nice. I've got it. I'm gonna give the wheat crunchies a solid 7 out of 10. So, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did like it, and hit the like button. If you didn't like the video, or didn't, don't like the uh, wheat crunchies, or disagree with me, leave a comment below and tell me why. Um, and just remember to like and subscribe to all of my, my YouTube and my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter accounts. And uh, yeah, have a great day and uh, good crunching.